Well, you already know what an orchestra is because you've actually heard it loads of times. Every time you watch TV or go to the movies or go into a shopping mall, you can hear music in the background and that's always played by an orchestra. So if you think of something like Harry Potter or your favourite film, all of the music that you hear when Harry's flying through the air, that's played by an orchestra with a conductor at the front. And an orchestra is used by a person called a composer and a composer writes music in the same way that authors write stories. And a composer would use an orchestra to tell the story, to paint pictures, to help uh, describe emotions and things. And they write music to do that instead of using words or pictures. The orchestra is very big and very diverse. So it has, it's like a big sports team or a big family and it has different sections in it that do different jobs. So at the front you have the strings who, if you've seen a string instrument, you draw the bow across what used to be made out of cat gut, but we don't use cats anymore, and they create a big warm fluffy cloud of sound that often makes us feel really warm, it's like a big musical cuddle. And then behind them are the wind family and they play lots of interesting melodies and tunes and often create lots of colour in the sound. Behind them are the brass, who are the really big, loud, shiny ones, often they're our favourites. And a composer uses the brass to create really bold, brash, exciting sounds. And behind them, you find the percussion family and that's all the things that you hit. And that creates lots of explosions of colour that are used musically like punctuation like exclamation points and question marks and things to create big vertical moments in the music. <laughs>